Uh, Deputy Murphy, Paul Murphy, 30 seconds to introduce. Thanks, Last Count Corla. Um, I'll ask the, the Minister to report on his recent meeting with the Secretary of State, Brokenshire. Uh, in particular, I'm interested in the point that the Taoiseach said in leaders' questions that you would be raising uh, with Secretary Brokenshire, uh, i.e. the undercover British police officers operating in Ireland, the call to extend the Pitchford inquiry to include uh, Ireland. I note that he said that you would issue a statement after that meeting in relation to that, which I don't think has been forthcoming. Okay. Um, perhaps you can say what concerns were raised uh, with the Secretary of State. Was it the operation of the police officers or the question of Pitchford? I am in regular contact with the Secretary of State for Northern Ireland, James Brokenshire. We had a meeting in Dublin most recently on the 14th of February. Uh, on Brexit, I reminded the Secretary of State of the particular impact on Northern Ireland of the UK's withdrawal from the European Union and of the entirely unique circumstances that pertain to Northern Ireland, given the political and constitutional settlement of the Good Friday Agreement, which is the foundation of the peace process. <coughs> I emphasised that the Government's priority is to ensure that the Good Friday Agreement is not in any way disturbed by the UK's withdrawal from the European Union and, of course, to maintain the open border on the island of Ireland, as well as the common travel area. I underlined that the hard-won peace on the island must be protected by both governments as co-guarantors of this agreement. I outlined to the Secretary of State that the government's focus in relation to Northern Ireland is a substantive outcome on each of the key issues, rather than the label ascribed to the overall package. I emphasise the government will maintain its focus on pursuit of specific effective and realisable measures that address each of the issues of concern under Brexit in relation to the border. I noted that while Prime Minister May's commitment to work to retain an open border on the island is welcome, if this is to be achieved, there must be significant flexibility to be shown by the British Government once these negotiations begin. I also outlined to the Secretary of State the discussions that had taken place the previous day at the All Island Civic Dialogue and Human Rights under the Good Friday Agreement. On the current political situation in Northern Ireland, the Secretary of State and I agreed that it is of the utmost importance that the conditions are in place for a power-sharing executive to be established as soon as possible also the election. I also discussed uh, last week the imperative of dealing with a range of issues relating to the troubles uh, in a way that meets the needs and expectations of victims. I reiterated my determination uh, that the, the, the comprehensive legacy framework uh, be established uh, at the earliest opportunity. Thanks, Last King Corda. Um, yeah, I, I'd ask particularly in relation to Pitchford. So we, we know that at least four undercover British police officers were operating in this state. We know that it seems that all of them commenced or had intimate relationships with women um, in that time. We know that the Metropolitan Police in Britain has apologised uh, for that to people like uh, Sarah Hampton and other uh, victims. Um, and we know that the Pitchford Inquiry has been set up to look into this, that other states, including Scotland, the North, Germany, have requested the extension of Pitchford to include their own countries. And you were going to raise these points with the Secretary of State. So I, I'd ask, what, what points did you raise um, with the Secretary of State? Um, and what response uh, did you get in relation to this obviously very, very serious matter? Indeed, last can call it further to the commitment given by the Taoiseach to the House uh, last week. I did raise uh, with the Secretary of State for James Brokenshire uh, uh, the, ex the concerns that were expressed by members of the House, indeed the Deputy included, regarding the issues connected to the Pitchford inquiry. Uh, I did say that this was a matter of concern, uh, that these concerns had been raised in the House uh, and that we felt uh, it appropriate that there would be a, a formal reply. Can I say in response, Secretary of State Brokenshire undertook to convey these concerns to the British Home Secretary, uh, Amber Rudd. Um, a deputy will understand that these are matters for which the British Home Secretary has direct responsibility uh, rather than the Secretary of State for Northern Ireland. Uh, but I confirmed that I did raise this issue, uh, that indeed I did uh, that I specifically convey the concern um, of some members of the House. Uh, and I know that the Deputy did raise this issue with the Tornish. Mm -hmm. And so could you just check if that was grouped with another question? 
Uh, no, it's a priority, priority, so it wouldn't have been. Okay. Right. Deputy Murphy, final <coughs> supplementary. Yeah, could, could I just ask the Minister to be a bit more precise? Um, so he says, and this is the phrase that is used repeatedly, concerns were raised. But really, what concerns were raised? Um, was a concern raised that the Irish Government didn't know that the police officers were operating in this state? Or is the concern raised that Pitchford doesn't include Ireland? Um, that's, it's really, really important that we know what concerns were raised. I, I agree that it's a matter for the Home Secretary, unless it's the case that the Irish Government didn't know that they were operating here. But obviously the, the, the tea shop suggested that you were going to be raising this at the, at the meeting. So if you could just give more details about exactly what concerns uh, you, you raised. Well, aware with these, of these concerns because he's raised them not only in the House with the Taoiseach last week, uh, but also at an opportunity at, at Justice Questions. Um, and can I say that this matter relates to the portfolio uh, of the Taunishta and Minister for Justice Francis Fitzgerald. Uh, I understand that the Deputy has raised these issues directly with the Taunishta and indeed in some detail with Minister Fitzgerald during Justice Questions only last week, and indeed that the Taunishta and Minister for Justice has fully responded to them. Uh, I, I, I conveyed your concern to Minister of State Brokenshire, uh, and I'm not going to comment further uh, on the issues as arising. Follow up to the answers or non answers of the Minister earlier in relation to raising the issue of Pitchford. Uh, well, there were very evasive answers. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to ask again what did you raise? with Secretary of State. You, you keep saying we raise the concerns that we raise, but what, what concerns? I'm not asking for you to repeat into the record the details or anything like that, but centrally, did you request the extension of the Pitchford inquiry to include Ireland? Uh, did you ask or wonder about what on earth undercover British police officers were doing in this uh, state? Uh, I note you, when I was raising the question about a question of a statement, you, you suggested that you had made a statement. I, I checked the website there, and on the statement about your meeting, there's no reference to the uh, British undercover police operation here and to Pitchford. So, ha have you made a statement, like the Taoiseach said you would after that meeting? I make it that well, I, I, I uh, would ask the deputy to check the uh, media sources because uh, I certainly saw a reaction to it uh, in the media at comments that I made following the meeting. Uh, but I don't have anything to add, uh, uh, to the fact that uh, I was asked to raise this issue. Uh, I did raise this issue. I raised the concern of the Deputy. Uh, I added to that my own concern. Uh, and I know that this is an issue upon which the Deputy has had ample opportunity in recent weeks to raise it with the designated Line Minister, my colleague, the Minister for Justice, Minister Fitzgerald. Uh, I can say to the House that my colleague, the Minister for Justice has raised this directly with her counterpart, uh, Secretary Amber Rudd, uh, and I, I, if, if there are any further developments, uh, I, would be happy to, uh, I would be happy to keep the Deputy fully informed. I say to Deputy Crow and 